Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very first fall clean and decorate with me video for 2024. In today's video, we are going to be styling my master bedroom and just a little bit of the master bathroom for fall. I can't wait for you guys to see how this space turns out. You're getting a little bit of a sneak peek behind me, but it is so cozy and inviting for the fall season. I use a really unique color scheme in this room. It is a navy blue with some soft green and white. And then this year, I've also decided to add in some rich brown tones and kind of a color coppery color to add more dimension and warmth to the space for this season. I'm really pleased with how everything turned out, although there could be a few changes coming as well. So stay tuned for my fall home tour here in a few weeks because you will be able to see everything in its final look at that time. But I hope you guys will join me, grab a cup of pumpkin spice coffee or hot chocolate or something, and let's get some fall decorating inspiration together. Okay, my friends, so I'm giving you a before look at our master bedroom right here. It's a little bit of a mess. I can explain some of that here in just a second, but this is how our bedroom has been decorated basically since the spring. After I took down all of the Christmas and winter decor, I've had the same throw pillows and blanket on the bed probably since about March or so I'd say so I am definitely ready for a change and for some fall ambiance in this space really quick before we get started with cleaning and decorating I'm going to pull up a fall ambiance scene here on YouTube on our TV in the bedroom that way I can have a cozy scene going with some smooth jazz in the background really similar to the playlist I've selected for today's video so I hope you guys enjoy the music today I'm quickly going to tidy up the room first and then we will start doing a wipe down of everything. My husband had a Lego set here on our dresser so I moved that and then all of this extra bedding you see in the corner is from the guest bedroom which will soon be our nursery for baby number two who is on the way and um that we gave the bed that was in that room to my sister. She's currently building a house and she could use that for her guest bedroom. So we cleared that out, but I'm going to keep the extra bedding because we do have an air mattress in the event that we have some family come to visit. So I need to keep those sheets and the pillows and everything. Over here on this little table, I had some maternity clothes laid out that I need to try on soon because <laughs> my regular clothes are not fitting the way that they used to so i have those laid out to try on and just some other random paperwork this little desk over here tends to be a drop zone so i'm trying to not keep it that way so that's why we're clearing that off and putting things away if i sound really out of breath i kind of am i don't know why it's just a pregnancy thing i guess but so sorry if i sound really breathless in this voiceover Over here in this corner, I just decided to take down my diffuser and I had a bottle of saline nose spray on my nightstand. I don't know what it was, but last week I had some terrible like allergies. I don't think it was a cold because I didn't feel that sick, but yeah, just a really stuffy nose and it was awful. It made me feel nauseous after I had just quit being nauseous and then that made it worse anyways. So taking all that stuff down and then we are going to start um, stripping the bed. I want to take off these gray sheets, get those washed, and we're going to make the bed with fresh linens today. Mm -hmm. 
You guys will have to let me know in the comments below, is your master bedroom a space that you typically style for any of the seasons? I know it seems a little bit extra, but our master bedroom is right off of our main living area and we keep the door open so people can basically see into our bedroom at all times. So we typically always have the bed made or at least spread up. And then that's why I do like to kind of make the bed a focal point and style this room a little bit for fall and Christmas. Since I had that little allergy thing going on last week, I am going to just disinfect my side of the bed. I'm not sure if it was a cold or allergies, but just to be safe, we are going to disinfect really quickly. And then we're going to put some new freshly washed sheets. Oh, but first we are going to clean. So I'm using my Mrs. Myers Acorn Spice multi-purpose cleaner in today's video. This is my favorite, favorite fall cleaner to use. The smell is so good and I look forward to it every year, but I'm gonna quickly dust the headboard and then each of our nightstands before we make the bed. Okay, so to go ahead and kind of start a little bit, I mean, we have these navy blue sheets. We kind of alternate between the gray and the navy blue year round, but I did want to go ahead and put the navy blue on specifically for this video because it ties in to the color scheme that we're using in here so well. So you will see navy blue carried throughout all of the decor in this room, and that's why I am putting on these sheets. So we don't have fancy sheets. These are literally the Amazon basics, like microfiber sheets. They are pretty good quality. I, I believe that this whole set of King navy blue sheets was like 20 bucks. Um, we have gone through multiple sets, but I just, I haven't, I have a hard time spending a lot of money on sheets, which I know that if we did, we would probably be more satisfied with the quality but I do also don't know of any like great places to buy them or great brands to get. So my husband said he would appreciate it if we did get some nicer sheets. So maybe that will be something I'm looking into, but I'm quickly gonna pull the quilt back up on the bed. This quilt is actually a hearth and hand quilt. I've had it for about a year or over a year. I think, and we just keep the quilt on year round. My husband is a very hot sleeper. I am a cold sleeper, so I always have to keep an extra blanket on my side of the bed while I'm sleeping, but that arrangement tends to work out great for us. Okay, we are styling the bed now for fall. I have these navy blue pillows that I'm going to lay up against the pillow shams, and these are just some navy blue pillow covers I purchased on Amazon a year or two ago. I have them in multiple colors, but this is a deep navy blue color, 
And then here in front, you're going to see me add this cute little lumbar shape pillow. I shared this pillow cover from Amazon in my recent fall decor haul. And I love that contrast of the brown against the navy blue. And that is the color scheme we're going with, with a little bit of hints of green and white as well. To the foot of the bed, I'm adding this beautiful blue plaid blanket that I picked up off of Amazon as well. This is the same blanket that Kaylin Cash shared in her recent bedroom video. I also got the brown one. I just got it in the mail the other day, so you will probably see it in the final shots of today's video, but I didn't have it at filming. But these blankets were only $10.99 a piece, and they are excellent quality, very warm, very nice quality for $11. The next thing we're going to style is this little wicker kind of woven tray that I keep on our bed. And first I'm going to add this metal lantern from Hobby Lobby and it has the leaf cutouts in it. And I just have a battery operated candle down in there. And I'm going to set that up on a timer to come on every evening. You will see a few different versions of this tray here. It takes me a while to get it just the way I wanted it. Um, while I was doing it, I tried to use this cute little autumn book that I have, and I didn't like it at the time, but when I was watching it back fill after, when I was editing, um, I don't think it looks too bad, but I end up changing it and kind of simplifying it, and I think it does look better in the end. But we're just going to use some of these miniature faux pumpkins. Those are all from Hobby Lobby. The bronze pick is from Hobby Lobby. And then the little miniature sign actually came in a set from Target Dollar Spot a few years back. You can also see this tray from our main living area in the evenings with the lantern lit up and it is just such a cozy view. The bed is really the main focal point of the room and that's where I focus most of my decorating. So we're just going to add a few more touches throughout the room as we clean and decorate, but the bed is our main focal point for sure. Now we are moving over to our dresser and this is where we have our TV, obviously. Um, over the spring slash summer months, I added a very long table runner to the top of this dresser. And I think it just helps the decor on top stand out a little bit more. And because our furniture is so dark in color, I like the contrast of the white table runner. I picked that up on clearance from at home. So we are going to add back in this little seagrass woven basket tray. I picked this up a few weeks ago at Hobby Lobby and I knew this is where I wanted to keep it. And I'm just gonna keep it there um, year round and style it different ways. But we are going to create a beautiful fall arrangement in this basket and add some of those battery powered fairy lights to just give it a nice glow. To create this arrangement, I'm using some fall 
picks that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, both the blue eucalyptus picks as well as those bronze ones are both from Hobby Lobby. And then adding in those fairy lights, as I said, but then the rest of the pumpkin and floral and berries, all the filler that you're about to see, that is all from Hobby Lobby as well. There's a couple different sets of pumpkins that I'm drawing from, but you can find all of these at Hobby Lobby currently this year as well. the other side of the dresser I'm going to add this simple wood riser with a miniature wreath around from that's from Hobby Lobby it is not a fall miniature wreath it's just one of their regular ones from the floral section but I am going to add my fall candle up here it is a navy blue jar style candle that I picked up at home goods last year and it is in the scent mold wine it's almost out though so i'm gonna have to try to find another coordinating fall candle to add for the rest of the season now we're moving on to this little uh, marble tiered table that i have i actually got this from my grandmother a few years ago it used to be in our bathroom but i really like just having it here in our bedroom I have a picture of my husband and I there and then just some books stacked on the bottom. And the only thing I really wanted to change was the top. I took off my summer candle and just added that simple cloth ticking stripe pumpkin from Hobby Lobby. The last area we're going to style here in the bedroom is this vintage little writing desk. This came from my grandmother's house um, who passed away back in March and I was able to bring this piece from her house um, and I love it. I still want to get just like a simple ladder back chair to sit at it to make it actually look like a little writing desk. I don't really plan on using it very much. I just kind of store my laptop here, but I think a, de a chair would make it look cuter, but we're going to make a, a simple little floral arrangement here using that blue eucalyptus. I'm also adding in one of those bronze picks and just creating a simple little vignette here on the corner of this table to kind of carry that fall decor throughout. Okay, so I'm actually going to change out a couple of pieces here in our master bathroom. I couldn't resist. We just finished making over this space earlier this year. And when I put those shelves on the wall, I knew I was like, I'm going to have to put some pumpkins in here and some Christmas decor, of course. So here I just wanted to switch out these florals really quick. The bright white like peonies were not doing it for me for fall. 
This floral arrangement that I put out, the blue and white, used to be out in the bedroom, and I just brought it in here. It's a little bit of a softer color palette. And then I'm really going to switch out some of the pieces here on my shelves. I'm adding a miniature wreath, a couple of little signs, and a new ceramic pumpkin that I picked up from Hobby Lobby this year. And I absolutely love how it turns out. Okay, you guys, that has wrapped up all of the decorating for today's video. And really quickly, I am going to finish up by cleaning my floors. I love doing this as my final step after cleaning and decorating a space, just because whenever you're getting out decorations and everything, there's glitter, dust, you know, everything goes to the floors. And so I'm doing a quick vacuum with my cordless shark vacuum. And then I'm going to also do just a quick mop using the Method Squirt and Mop Wood Floor Cleaner and just a microfiber mop that I got from Grove Collaborative. And this room will be cleaned and decorated for fall. Okay, you guys, I hope you really enjoyed coming along with me today, cleaning and decorating. And here are the final looks of how my room is decorated for the fall season, both during the day and I'm going to give you some after dark shots as well. Enjoy.
Okay guys, that is gonna wrap up today's fall clean and decorate with me here in the master bedroom and bathroom. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I had such a blast putting all of this decor out today and cleaning my room and just making it feel really extra cozy for the upcoming fall season. Um, I've had a little bit of a hard time getting into the spirit of fall this year. I think it's because my family still has to go on our little beach vacation next week after Labor Day. Um, we're really excited about that, but my brain is still like in beach mode. So, um, but I just put on that cozy little fall ambiance scene on the TV. There was smooth jazz playing. The Mrs. Myers Acorn Spice Cleaner just made it smell like fall in here. It was so nice and cozy. I really had a great time and it's definitely getting me in the fall spirit now. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing is about this room. For me, it's just the entire color scheme and how it all came together. I'm loving the added brown and bronze tones that I did this year. It really has made the difference and really makes it more cozy in my opinion. So I'm so glad that I decided to do that. But if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below if you're new here. Hi, my name is Katie. I'm so glad that you joined me for today's video and I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. It's totally free, but you can expect lots of seasonal decorating, cleaning motivation, and mom life videos here at Kindly Katie. I have a lot more fall cleaning and decorating videos coming up and then we're going to be jumping into Halloween, a little bit of Thanksgiving, Christmas. So from here on on out throughout the end of 2024. It is going to be tons of cleaning and decorating. So I hope you guys will subscribe and join me each week for a new video. All right, I'll see you next week with another fall decorating video. Bye guys.